Hello, this is Father Andy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Friday in the octave of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, and while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, The priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on him or on them and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, Their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Peter, then filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, If we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead in his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders who had become or who has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven by which the human race or by which are given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, as we continue our study of the book of Acts throughout Easter, We are now again at the point just after the healing of the crippled man in the temple area. And it is at that point where um, they've gathered a large group of people that uh, were there. And of course, uh, the people were astounded to see this miracle take place. And this miracle then was joined to a, a declaration that Peter was making to the crowd about how this happened, by whose power this man was healed. And while this was going on, all of a sudden you see uh, some people pushing through the crowd. You have the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees, which is part of the ruling party of the Jews, uh, confront them. Now, it's important that we recognize that this was the Sadducees that were doing this because they are of the group that denied the resurrection of the dead, that once you were dead, that was it. There was no afterlife, no nothing. And so they were deeply agitated and quite angry with, with the disciples, especially with the apostle Peter and what he was declaring to the people. So, uh, the temple uh, guard under the uh, instructions of the captain took them into custody. And so they basically were arrested and uh, retained until the next day because uh, it was already evening. And once you have evening, everything shuts down. It was getting close to evening, so they were going to wait the next day to have an assembly of the, Isra- uh, the leaders, the Jewish leaders in- there in Jerusalem. But interestingly, uh, Luke makes note of the fact that already by this time, just in the second proclamation, there were 3,000 added to the church, and now at least another 2,000 added here uh, to the number of believers. So the church has now grown to about 5,000 men, which doesn't include women and children. Just think about... um, What a large number of people that is, you know, around 10,000 or more people already just after the resurrection, believing in Jesus. 
And uh, yet now they're detained. Uh, they're placed under house arrest by the temple guard. And then they have uh, an, a, basically an appearance before the Sanhedrin, the rulers of the Jews. And uh, they were there not only with the rulers of the Jews, the Sanhedrin, but also the, uh, the uh, scribes were there and also the high priest Annas, um, along with Caiaphas, who was a longstanding high priest, and other high priests by the name of John and Alexander and others. There was a group of, um, uh, I guess you could call them high priests emeritus uh, that were there, but uh, the newly elected high priest was Annas. And so they questioned Peter and the other disciples about what was going on and by what power they did this. And here comes Peter again with another powerful message under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Again, Peter, who had been so cowardly at the time of the resurrection, has a boldness given to him by the Holy Spirit, even in speaking to the ruling class of Judah. The, it, these, um, this is like being in the presence of the highest officials of the land. And one of the things he again brings up again is the name of Jesus the Nazarene, whom you crucified. So in other words, Jesus ascended, and he is the one who has healed this man. But he was raised from the dead. And of course, this would be such a, a horrifying thing for the Sadducees to hear him say. And uh, again, one of the things that Jesus, or that that. Uh, Peter did was remind them about the prophecies concerning Jesus, especially the one the he is the stone rejected by you. In other words, the stone rejected by the builders, which has become the cornerstone. Again, you have here a quoting from the prophetic pronouncements of the Old Testament. But then Peter makes a profound statement that they all needed to be confronted with. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. So a powerful, powerful uh, encounter with Peter, who did not back down, but continued to give witness to the power of the resurrected Jesus. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, we'll continue our study of the Acts of the Apostles tomorrow. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>